This video was made to help you understand Breadth First Search. Breadth First Search is a type of graph search. It explores a graph by starting at one vertex and visiting all of that vertex's neighbors, which can be considered one edge away from the start. After it visits all the vertices that are one edge away from the start, it visits the vertices which are two edges away from the start, which are the neighbors of the neighbors of the starting vertex. After that, it visits the vertices three edges away and so forth. Let's see how it works on an example graph. In this graph, we begin at vertex A. Vertices will be highlighted red to show that they've been explored. From A, we can reach B or H. I'll explore B first and then H. It's equally valid to look at H first, but I just decided that I'm going to look at B first. Now let's look at the neighbors of A's neighbors. That means the neighbors of B and the neighbors of H. Let's look at B first. We can visit C and then F. You could visit F first. It doesn't really matter. Now let's look at H's neighbors. We'll visit I, then J. It is equally valid to visit J first. We just need to visit both I and J before moving on. At this point, we need to look at either C or F's neighbors. Let's look at C's neighbors first. We can visit E or D. We'll visit E and then D. Now the only vertex left to be explored is G, so we explore that vertex and that's it. Here we've circled the vertices based on their distance from the start. A is obviously zero edges away from the start since A is the start. B and H are one edge away, C, F, I, and J are two edges away, and E, D, and G are three edges away. All the vertices within one of these groups must be visited before visiting any vertex in the next group. But within each group, the order is not set. This is pseudocode for an implementation of a breadth-first search. It uses a queue to store newly discovered vertices. Note that this one has a goal state, and it stops when we reach a goal state. If you don't want to have a goal state, just take that statement out, and it'll just keep running until the graph is done. This is the complexity for the BFS. Note that V and E are the number of vertices and the number of edges, respectively. And that's it! I hope this video has been helpful in helping you to understand breadth-first search.